How's it going everybody? I know it's been a little while since I posted a video about my car, which those videos seem to do pretty well, but uh, we're all in quarantine right now basically, and I purchased this uh, about a month and a half ago and have yet to install it in my car. So I figured while well, I had nothing to do this afternoon, we would go ahead and put this in, see how it does. This is a Pioneer AVH. 21, no, 210 EX. Uh, it's got the DVD player, Bluetooth, hands-free call set, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to get another one. But I've been wanting to put a touchscreen in my car for a little while. Uh, the other radio has done well. It doesn't have a CD DVD player in it, but I don't really use that anyway. But my wife's Honda Odyssey, the radio is stupid in it. and. Uh, she's gotten where she likes using the Bluetooth feature on my radio in my car to connect her phone and play music. So, I told her I would put the radio in my car in her car and I was going to get a new one. So, we're going to go out there and start this process. Uh, the only thing I don't have right now is this, the, the dash kit for it. Uh, I have the wiring harness from the other radio. Um, I'm going to see how well it fits in the hole that's already there. And if I need to, I will purchase a actual dash kit at a later time. So, here we go. focus here's the car come on focus there we go um, I got my Ecto-1 tag on it finally uh, I just right before quarantine had to go put four new tires on it I was gonna put some 22 inch rims on there but the tire size was wrong so I just kept the stock tires for now um, so anyway what we're going to do, excuse the mess, my wife's been driving my car lately because her Honda Odyssey has a problem with the, uh, oh no, beeping noise, guess what happens. Um, her Honda Odyssey has a issue with the power steering and I've already replaced the damn power steering pump and the hydraulic line in it and it's still acting up so. I gotta do some more work. But anyway, we're gonna be replacing this, this Kenwood uh, in dash. I keep music on a little old thumb stick. But yeah, we're gonna put the Pioneer into here. And um, this car, this is gonna be mainly focused on after it's installed, if I needed a dash kit and the setup part of it, not me, the journey of installing the actual thing, so. Um, I'm going to cut here, and if I run into something I think is pertinent, I will say something. If not, then maybe this will cut to it actually being in. So, we will see. Alright, so I never expected this. But the same harness that came with the Kenwood, which I have back here, actually fit the Pioneer. Which means I didn't even have to do anything with the wiring. It's the same shit. I just plug it right in the back of this and it started working. But there's some plastic around the dashboard that is hindering me from pushing this thing all the way down and in at the bottom of the top. So I'm going to have to take something and cut that for me to be able to push this back in to the dash. But the way that it sits, it's actually, it's actually working. Right here, you watch on Fox 28. Thanks to PNT. So, I'm gonna see what I gotta do to do that. And, yeah, this is turning out to be more simple than I was expecting it to. So this is cool. Well, that was short-lived. I got excited because it had 
the harness I already had was the same as this one I thought until I realized that it doesn't have the parking brake line on it that is needed to be able to play DVDs on this. So I am going to have to switch out the whole harness, which isn't a terrible thing. I need to clean up some um, behind the way. And I got it to where it kind of goes back, but I'm going to get it to where it can go back some more. Um, but we are making some sort of progress. So we will persevere and push forward. All right. Well, it done got dark as you can see but I do have it kind of in the dash it sticks out a little bit and that's because I wanted it kind of facing me I'm gonna probably find a different way to mount it 100% um, this little thing over here is a little bypass switch uh, for the DVD player this one's not like all the other ones that I've worked on I don't know if it's just pioneer or whatever but usually you can just take the green um, wire for the parking brake and ground it out and you can play video well this one has a two-step process where it wants you to initiate the parking brake let it go and then press it again for you to be able to press ok before to play anything so what I did was I put a little switch here which I don't know if that's one that's gonna stay um, you can't really there it is right here where it just keeps it compressed by putting in this little gap here for now that way i can um click it let go click it and then i stuff it in there and it registers as i pull the parking brake a few times so that i can bypass it um, i doubt I'll ever watch movies while i'm driving but i don't want it to have to be with just the parking brake so all in all, I would consider this a success. It actually does sound really good in here. Um, but with it being dark, I'm not going to crank it up. I'm sure there'll be other instances to show off what it sounds like in the future. But yes, the DVD's working. Everything's working like it's supposed to. I've got to learn some things and figure some other little things out. But yes, we are in here. So have a good one, and I'll catch you in the next one.